Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Harlequin Coho, and I am absolutely thrilled to let you all know today that my best friend and uh, hacker, programmer, extraordinaire Quasimodem has gone ahead and released a replay launcher for the entire community to use. It works all the time. Let's go ahead and check out where to get it, what to do with it. You're going to want to go to chalicegames.com slash replaylauncher.exe, what I've got up here, and... Uh, That'll go ahead and give you the current version of Replay Launcher. This is just a real quickie EXE that takes all the sloppiness out of watch watching replays. Go ahead and download that, and uh, I'm going to fire that up right now. Meanwhile, um, as this loads up, here we go. And you'll see right away we get a nice little list of all the replays that are currently out there. And where are these replays, you might say? Uh, well, let's take a look. We're going to go and basically go to wherever your My Games directory is. And you can see that there is a playback directory in here on Windows XP, for instance, it's My Documents, My Games, Company of Heroes Online. Go into playback, and actually by default, all along, Company of Heroes has been saving uh, replays. A lot of people were aware of this, but it constantly saves over the same temp.rec file. So uh, one quick way to save your replays is after every game, rename this file. But of course, that's a bit of a pain. So what you really want to do is uh, make a change so that allow you to see the score screen after each game. And uh, what you want to do there is go ahead and go to your install folder for Company of Heroes Online, go to the game directory, and we're going to go down here and take a look at this file, relic.coho.module. That has a bunch of uh, basically settings that uh, determine how games launch, and if you edit that, you will see you've got an edit in just a plain text viewer, you know, notepad works fine, and there's one thing we want to change about that under post game behavior. Right at the top, you want to change this to say show post game stats, all one word. I believe by default it's like hide or something, but you want show post game stats. And if you make that change and save the file, every time you finish completing it, you know, you finish a multiplayer game, uh, reward game, whatever, you will get a little score screen at the end, which is just the raw score screen from left over from Vanilla Co., uh, Vanilla Company of Heroes. Uh, what this will do is it'll give you some scores. I have no idea if those scores are in any way accurate, but uh, what it does allow is this save replay button here. I'll let you know right off the bat that whatever you type into that field is just gibberish, but it will just save you a generic version of that replay that has like a timestamp and a map name and stuff like that, and therefore, uh, you will have a replay for every game that you play or whatever one you want to save. You just need to remember to come out here. You'll see that I have uh, a ton of replays that have these generic names on them, but just rename the ones that you want to watch and uh, take a look. So once again, huge, huge news here from Quasimodem. He's completely finished the replay launcher. Go ahead.